So today to start out this video, we're going to be setting up our new backup power solution and we've actually partnered with Anchor Solix today and we're really excited to get this unit installed. We're going to show you how it works. Now that we have our generator plug installed, now we're going to turn off our main power source and switch over to the Anchor F3800. There we go. So now that I've got this installed, the whole house is running off of the Anchor power station here. We have an average of 200 watts, which is really good for our home. So this is the F3800 by Anchor Solex. It is a 6,000 watt inverter. It's a 3,800 watt hour battery capacity. It is the top of the line product that they make. It is very, very expandable. And it is also 240 volt and 120 volt, making it the most versatile power station out there. The way that we have this set up is we have it back fed into our panel. Um, very simple for us to do because we're off grid. If you're on the grid, the way that you would have this set up is through a transfer switch where you would have critical loads identified and routed over to the transfer switch. And if in the event of a power outage, the, tr the F3800 automatically and instantaneously switches over to backup power. The F3800 is a standalone unit. It's 3.8 kilowatt hours, but you can add six 3.8 kilowatt expansion batteries to this unit alone. But the nice thing is with two of these, you can get 12,000 watts of inverted power and you can have double even that power with a total of up to 53.8 kilowatt hours. And that is way more power than we have in our house. The solar input of the F3800 is 2,400 watts, which oddly enough is 300 watts more than what we even use for our off-grid home system, making this a very powerful unit. Okay, so Anchor asked us to try and max out the unit. So we've got everything turned on in the house, the dishwasher, the oven, I've got the espresso machine ready to go make some coffee. Greg's gonna go turn on the hot water and a vacuum and we're gonna see how high we can get this. Go. Okay. We're at a thousand watts. 1900. You got the water on? Because the Anchor F3800 has a 240 volt plug, we are able to use it to do some welding, so we're gonna head outside and try it out. This is how we used to weld. And this is how we weld now. So whether you're already off grid or you're on grid and you're just looking for a backup solution, the Anchor is a great option for that. We're going to post a link down in our description and in the comments. And a big thank you to Anchor for sponsoring today's video. Good morning and welcome back. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be finishing the siding as soon as we can. We yeah. made the decision. Our goal is to try and get it done in this video. These two walls at least that we've got half finished. The front of the building where our main entrance is, we're not gonna be able to do that yet because we have an, a small addition that we're putting on the front, but I don't see why we can't finish the siding on everywhere else. Yeah, we're aiming for three days of work. So we'll see how far we get. We'll I don't wanna we say we're gonna get through it and then we don't, but. We have a tendency <laughs> to do that, but it's about the goal, right, Katie? Yeah. That's our goal, yeah. so. It's a beautiful sunny day. We're just gonna get into it.
You got bloody feet? Huh? Do you have bloody feet or are you just cleaning them off? No, he's got poo foot. Poo foot? I don't want to hold him. <laughs> poo poo foot man. <laughs> are you Eddie. the favorite rooster? Eddie. Oh, he's such a good guy. Ready to smash some siding? Yes. He's, got, his hands. <laughs> he's got poo foot, Greg. Oh, whatever. It's a poo. <laughs> He's got poo, poo foot. Whatever. It stinks. I can smell it. Whatever. Here you go, bud. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at you. You're incredible. <laughs> Come on, guys. So we mess messed up the measurements for the side pieces of the uh, window trim. It's nearly impossible to try and measure exactly what you need when you have no, when you don't have half of the trim up to get the exact measurement between the two, the top and the bottom. So we luckily have some four and a half stained already. So we're just going to cut those down to size and we'll just stain the cut edge again and that'll be fine. We'll be able to get that window trim up. We are running out of daylight, although we do have a lot more daylight now that the sun is past that hump. It's no longer generator season, which is really nice because our batteries are charging. We have enough daylight in the day to get our batteries charged. in her voice. She doesn't want to lose. She doesn't want to lose. She's going to lose, Katie, because she's a big one.
All right, we finally got that window trim up. We're gonna have to call it a day though, cause it's starting to get dark. The sun is going down behind the mountain. It's getting cold. So we're gonna head in and get dinner and you know, all that stuff. But tomorrow we'll be able to get that wall finished up. We've got trim to go across the top already done. So we should be able to get it wrapped up and then maybe start going up here, but we'll just have to wait and see. Put my boot. Ooh, let's go find my boot. She's chewing on something else now. I think she hit it. <laughs> Ooh, are you close? Ooh, what are you? Oh, there it is over there. All right, we've got the ladder adjusted, ladders adjusted, and we're ready to keep going. To the top. Shouldn't take us too long to get up to the top. We've got trim already ready to go up there. We just got to cut it down to the size. Windows are done. We're just gonna 
go as high up as the ladder can go, then we'll adjust the ladder again and keep going with siding. sound. A pretty common question that we get is why aren't we milling our own siding and putting that on our house? And that is because we live in a pretty high risk fire area. It gets very dry here in the summer and we get lightning storms and we don't wanna have anything on our house that is gonna burn. That's why we have a metal roof. We're doing the hardy board siding, which is made out of cement. And our deck is not wood as much as we wanted it to be. It is a fireproof material and we're gonna be doing metal skirting all the way around as well, metal soffiting. So there should be no way that an ember can fall on our house and light it on fire. Probably our highest risk area now is gonna be inside the house if something were to ever go wrong there, but that could happen anywhere.
nice. A little more, Katie. A little more gas. Beautiful. Hold up. Yep. Beautiful. Yes. I haven't really been scared up until now. I'm scared now. <laughs> I gotta get to that rope. Go take a peek at the pudding. Make it show show what these ladders are sitting on. <laughs> Measure. So thankfully, it was muddy when we put these ladders up, and they are frozen into the ground. The reason we aren't using scaffolding is because. There's no level ground. We can't get a scissor lift or whatever, or any of those sort of machine lifting things because none of this ground is level. The best we can do is these ladder jacks and Greg tie off. He's a rock climber, so he's very experienced in falling off of things. <laughs> and uh, he's good with ropes and all that sort of stuff. So we're not worried. It's just the part where you have to go from the ladder up to the tie off. 17 feet high. <laughs> Are you tired? Are you growing? Are you doing a grow right now? Oh my goodness. Be confident. <laughs> Be confident, Katie. I'm getting there, yep. Just a second. I'm coming, just a second. <laughs> Think so? I don't know. Don't hit the window. <laughs> don't even, don't even bother. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Katie, it doesn't, <laughs> I gotta find a better way. I'm gonna lower the rope. I'm gonna take the knots out and lower the rope so we, you can just tie it on. And I, Cause I got a whole bunch of stuff to bring up here. All right, we got all of the solid pieces up. There's just the angled cuts that go on the end of each row as the that follows the roof line. 
left to do, but tomorrow's a holiday and we need bug screen so that we can keep working up on the deck upstairs. So we're gonna run into town and pick up everything we need just to get through tomorrow so that we're not in dealing with stores being closed and everything like that. So we've made really good progress. I know Greg is looking forward to being done up there. There's just a few more pieces left, but we'll work on that tomorrow. All right, now that we've got all the goats and dogs and cats and chickens wrangled up, it's been a busy morning. We're gonna keep going on getting this uh, siding finished and then we can start prep work for this wall and up on the top. Greg's just heading up with the first kind of uh, slanted piece that is going to, going to finish off a row. So he's gonna get that installed. And we are so close to getting this done. And I'm looking around thinking, oh, I should do a, you know, our nice nature B-roll, but I feel like it's not very nice out right now. It's just kind of dirty snow, ice, dogs and goat poop everywhere, construction material, <laughs> gray skies. It's just really not that nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the Golden Eagle. They, uh, there was one, I, I spotted them earlier. That's a big bird. There are two? Look at the wingspan on that. It's like six, eight feet, I don't know. Ready? Yeah. This has been pretty dangerous working up on the scaffolding, scaffolding up on the ladder plank like that. And I am tied off with an old climbing harness that needs, that I took out of service a long time ago, but it's good enough to hold me. But the real thing keeping me safe is this off-grid life hoodie. Really. <laughs> Link below. Link below in the description. <laughs> How many times have you done a ladder safety course? I don't know, lots. How many? I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> 17 years worth. <laughs> Just let it be known, Greg was a roofer for 17 years. He's no stranger to ladders and being up high. That is wrong. It doesn't go there, does it? Okay. Okay, ready? I'll be so stoked. This is the sketchiest wall of them all to do. I know. It's gonna get easier from here on out. Yeah. Nothing will be as hard as this. <coughs> this is well too. Awesome. Yay! That's it. Nail it, sailor. Just like that, we're all finished with the siding on this big scary wall. <laughs> Feels good to have that done. We are all out of the caulking that we need, so we've ordered some, but I think we have a little bit left. So Greg is gonna try to do the top, all the way across the top, just so that we can take the ladder jacks down and then when we do get our the caulking that we need he's just going to go up because it's going to be 
up the siding or up the trim on either side and then around the windows. So it'll be very easy to just put a ladder up and then he can just make his way up or down or whichever way he's gonna do it. it looks so good. I'm really happy with this. I'm so glad we decided to go with all the brown all the way around. I don't know if we mentioned, we estimated it to be around $6,000 extra to do the metal on uh, that, that wall that goes from the chimney upstairs. So that would have been a lot of money to put out. We've spent four grand on a lift of the hardy board siding and there's still three rows left in the pile of siding. So it just doesn't make sense to spend six more, 6,000 more dollars when this is already paid for. And we love how it's turning out. Thank you.